Hello! Welcome to Legend of Grimrock. I am your host for this wonderful experience of a game, uh, Gerbil. Sorry, got my name for a moment. And this is a, um, Legend of Grimrock. It's a, uh, indie title. It's, uh, $10, $20 on Steam. Don't know. I got it for the Humble Bundle. I got it on the Humble Bundle uh, a few months back when it was on there, and I've played quite a bit of it. But we're gonna start from uh, from the very beginning, difficulty, and not old school mode because I don't have craft paper. No reason to use those things. All right, Mount Grimrock. A towering spire looms above the clouds, a weathered rock that has stood tall for ages. The longer the history, longer than the histories of men have been written, it is a desolate place now, only remembered when things need to be discarded and forgotten. An airship struggles to gain altitude as it floats towards the peak. I don't know how important the story is, but yeah. Four prisoners bound by heavy chains emerge from the ship. The court accuses them of terrible treasonous deeds, but the great, but by the grace of the king, their crime shall be forgiven atop Mount Grimrock. Their final trial is at hand. Numerous prisoners have received their parts here, yet none have returned to live their life in freedom. They're at the very top of the world, and below them only darkness and justice awaits. As they are plunged down the open maw at the peak, their crimes are absolved. Everyone before them has perished in the guts of the mountain. But will you be able to lead them through the dark? Through the dark into the freedom that awaits the base of Mount Grimrock? Well, I'm gonna assume that that's quite the fall if it leads to darkness, and I don't know, it just seems like they might die, but maybe we got super bones. Maybe we don't die. Who knows. Alright. So, it's pretty easy. You can press E and Q to turn around, or you can right click for a much smoother one. If you want to, like, look up at something, maybe there's something hidden on the ceiling. Um, you move with W, A, S, and D on tiles, which, yeah. You have this guy, Contar Stone School, Mork, Yamaka White Feather, and Sarskron. So he's like a knight, he does, I, I don't know what the importance of a knight, he's not really a tank, but yeah. This guy, he's more of the tank. She is a rogue. I think it says it somewhere, but she's a rogue. So she can throw, um... She has bows and arrows, I think, and can throw things. And he's a mage, and you have to craft your own spells, and it's really scary and difficult. Uh, if you so desire, you can move who goes where. And this is the position of them in the party. So right now, these two would be at the front, if they're in a fort, in a square of four. He, these two are at the front taking the most damage and these two are supporting but you could if he if this guy's really hurt you just move her up boom she's taking the damage and not him uh, probably only if you really need to and there are tons of secrets in this game so let's get started you always have to look carefully and I'm not sure but I recall there might be some secrets in here. Um, there might be. I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, you hear that? That's the enemies. Um, yeah, they're kind of difficult, and you're not given much. Choose your fate. Perish in the cell, or pick up the torch. So you might get riddles like that. You can pick up a torch, put it in some I'll put it in her since she's at the back. And those will eventually burn out. So, watch yourself. 
so I always like to grab extra torches, drop them in their inventory, just click there. Um, this is, I don't know what the bottom one is, I haven't played that in long enough to know that, but the top one's health. So, I'm assuming that the other one's stamina, so anything that you can press or interact with is left click. And there are probably secrets that are missing. Look, rags. We will divide those up, put them on, protection plus two, and protection plus two. So we'll divide them up amongst the front, because that's how I roll. A cudgel, we'll have him, and the combat's really interesting. You're, you'll definitely want to see it. I'm going to fill our inventory with crap, because it will get pretty dark eventually. Oh god, I hear enemies. A rock. You can place it on pressure pads. It'll do this. Oh, a key. That's just what we need. We'll give that to him. And move forward. Yeah, but if you're so inclined, you can look for secrets. Um, I don't know how many there are here. I'm not going to waste time this early. Um, you have to actually click on the key. Maybe? Yeah, you have to click on the wall. It's a very cool game. Uh, it's a dungeon crawler. Forgot to m mention that. Loose rock. So that's a hint. Because here... I was stuck here for so long originally. I had no clue what I was doing. It was awful. Oh my goodness. Take that spare torch. So, see that? That little thing there took me hours to find. I had to look it up eventually. You just press it, and those are hidden all over the place, also. So, be careful. Also, rocks. I think I left one behind, actually. Those are actually useful. Ugh. Keep moving me forward when we play the pace than I intend to. Oh, did I pick up the rock? I did. Yeah, so you can use this as a weapon. I'll give it to her, because she can throw things. Um... Yeah. You have to craft your own spells. And then there's a cooldown time. But you can select as many of these as you want. Hope it works. Um, I like to stick with what I know, which is that. Boom. And it appears that's mana. So for things that require mana, that's what that is. Um, key. Oh, there are other things on the characters. So this is his inventory. Food. They eventually need to eat. Um, stats. This is how good they are with each hand. So if they're left or right handed, he's ambidextrous. And you can spend spill skill points here. So him, we should actually check what hand he's best with. He is best with his left hand. It does more damage. However, it is not as accurate. But I'm willing to take the risk for more power. Um, it's important for everyone. Left-handed. And... I, oh, open up, you jerk. And ambidextrous. So, yeah. Let's adventure... Oh, there's a snail. Throw it. Right-click to attack. They recharge over time. Oh god, I'm backed in a corner. You can punch. You have to... Ah, miss. Miss, miss, miss. This is bad. Oh, god. And he will drop some food. So if anyone is particularly hungry... No? Okay. We won't, we won't use the food then. Um, rock. Could use that. Oh, yes, stuff. Knife. Put that in his hand. Leather pants. Front guys are taking the most damage, so I want to, I want to put them on stuff. Uh, t three and four. I should probably put this on the other guy, but it doesn't matter. Um, to regain some HP, you can sleep. 
and at some point there's a little story thing that goes on when you sleep but uh, we'll talk about that when we get there okay so this is the corner I stuck in is there anything don't have to look too carefully if you know what it looks like and that's where we came from okay just or something and this is where I'm a little hazy oh perfect she gets a knife because knives are for damage yeah and so with that we can do this and we're much more painful we wait for him Boom. we get our stuff back ah didn't see him get scared. Uh, event, I know there's a way to do poison, but uh, for the life of me, I don't remember it. Yeah, this is pretty much the combat. It's really interesting, I think. I wouldn't say it's the best combat system, but it's definitely. It's just, oh god, he's out of mana. And no one seems to hit anything ever. So these guys are a little low on health, but not too bad on food. I th think snail bit. I think these. Here, yeah, we'll feed one to these guys. Why? Because. No reason not to. Give them full hungry hunger. Um, we could have used the rock on her, but scared. Definitely. Also, um, there's these. Oh, God, I don't want to give it all away. It's a, okay. This is this here is suspicious. Oh, well, no, it's not. Oh no, I gave that to the wrong person. And we'll feed her. Right? We'll feed her because yeah. If there's items at a dead end, I, I early on I don't think it'll be a secret. But definitely, as you advance further, probably a secret. So we need a key to go here. But we can travel along down here before we move on. And we'll get nice things. Sandals. The guys in the front are in more need. And a loincloth. How much does it do? One. This, oh, this removes willpower, so we don't actually want to do that on him. So we'll put it on her. She can wear a long cloth. And I know I said it's probably not worth it on the early. But always, I, I would suggest always checking for secrets, but for entertainment's sake. Do, 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 do. Uh, come on. Sometimes if you hold down the button, it'll go more than you want it to. It's a little irritating, but nothing you can't get past. So. Let's see, that's a hole. That's bad. Ah, hint. It's close to pit. Something needs to fly. That's a hint at throwy rocky. To get fancy things. And we'll have to leave that rock there, sadly. But... Has to be done for our safety. And now... No, we've already explored this. Okay. I'm getting a little lost. Um... I'm, I don't know, there's some way to get to a map. It's... What happens if you sleep? I forget. You just click to wake up, by the way. <laughs> Alright, well Pick a direction and explore it Okay, down If you fall down there, there might be nice stuff But it's also likely just to be Just awful, awful things
Um, right, re replace the rock quick. Have fire ready. Poof. Okay, back up. Rock. Yay, wonderful. Oh, okay. Nice and wonderful. Same. Ah, uh, scroll. So what this does is it'll teach you a, um, I'm just going to point to it with my finger. I realize that wouldn't do anything. This will teach you what you need to do to create a spell. So I already knew what Fire Burst was just because, and it'll tell you the required skill that you need to be able to cast it. Currently, though, that's I don't need that in my inventory clogging it up. But at some point, you might want to... I don't want a one cloth. Tattered cloak. This is a rogue item. I think. No, it's an everyone item. So we'll actually give it to the guys in front. Why? Because they need it more. Actually, checking for secrets. And, yeah, they're, they're much more obvious if you have higher quality. I have everything on low so that I could record it. Because, you know, my stuff sucks. Sorry, I had to scratch my ear if I sounded funny. Um. This is only going to cause pain, so let's explore another part. This is just trying to get us trapped and killed. So... And there is also this guy. Chilling out. J just fire him. Actually. Rocks real quick. So you'll you'll get more use and better to the combat over time, and I also realized dang it, I put it in the wrong place. I haven't been talking much. Sorry about that. Does anyone really need food? No, not too much. Okay. So we'll just switch out the weapons. Um and at some point you will level up. Fireworks well. I'm out of energy though. He accidentally did the wrong thing. <sighs> Combat is a little slow, unfortunately. One of the downside. No, I don't want the line class. No, get give me what I want. That is what I want. Oh, also, see, look how the torch is worn down? Yeah, that's not good. Well, it's not bad either, because we've already, um, we collected extra torches. So, probably a little bit much, considering most of the places lit up. There are some places, however, that aren't. Like this one, which is a good place to use a torch. Blue gem. Mm, what does that do? You can hold it. Must do something. No clue though. <gasps> secret. Not a secret, that's just the way out. 
got it. Rock is needed. Where did I see that secret was? Nope. Brain? Is there a way to... Hmm. I may have just... Oh, maybe the blue gem. Also, I don't want to lose it. It's so pretty. We put, ah, uh, yes, that's what it's for. Put him in his eyes. No clue where we came from, so. I hear not fun things. Well, anyways, this is where I'll end the video. Oh, goodness, yeah, see, not fun things. Wait, hold on, I want to try something out before I... just hurts us. Good to know. So I will leave you by taking a rest. Healing up. The longer you rest, you heal your things up. But you also get hungry, I think. No? Yeah. Stuff. And I will bid you adieu. We will come back to this later. Bye.